everyone i am sayed musa kaleem and in this tutorial i'll be talking about asp.net core startup.cs file and i'm going to give a quick introduction on startup.cs file so let's take a look in asp.net a startup.cs file is a starting point of the application and startup.cs file consists of three main methods as it contains a main method it is obviously the entry point of the app and let's see what are the three main methods in startup.cs file startup.cs file consists of started startup method itself and configure services method and another and the last one is configure method so let's see in our demo application how startup.cs file will look like so i'm going to show you where we can configure our services in configure services method and let's see so this is our startup.cs file as you can see this is the startup method it con contains hosting environment hosting environment means we have different environments like staging and development so it selects the environment particular environment and that environment it takes the environment variables and it configures so this is our configuration property and this is the main method main configuration method for the services as you can see this method gets called by the runtime and it used to add services and as you can see add mvc and add database context these are these all stuff you can include in configure services method and these are completely dependency injections i'll tell you later what are dependency injections in the next upcoming video so this is all about the uh, what you can see the dependency injection so let's move to to the configure method this configure method consists of context dot database dot ensure created i have created one database in this application so it is ensuring that the database is created or not so this configure method consists of http pipeline request you might have heard about it so the request is going to handle from this method all request will be in the pipeline so environment again it is selecting is development or not environment is development or not and i told you that these configure services methods will configure services which are dependency injections i'll show you where we can add our dependency injections here we can add in project.json folder in project.json file you can add all dependency injections as you can see microsoft.asp.net core.server.iis integration iis is our local web host server we are running this application all asp.net core applications on iis web server and this is also a small web server for asp.net core apps kestrel um these all are dependency injections and after including all dependency injections in the project.json folder you need to include those dependency injections in the configure services method i have included my mvc without this method without this service you won't be able you won't be able to access the mvc architecture ac architectural pattern and i am also using this use sql server dependency injection and i am including in my configure services method so this is uh, this is all about the configure services let's see about the configure method as you can see here you can use static files this static files will be used for dot css files dot html dot javascript files all you need to include those files in use static files method mm, and this is used for routing routing is pretty important in asp.net core apps this is the default route which is already 
existed in our application as you can see this route name is default controller name is home action name will be index and this id parameter it's optional and this is the default route you can add more routes it's your wish and this is all about the startup.css file hope you understand about the startup.css file please like this video and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share this video thank you so much